So it's Wednesday night. So it's 11:19. The hell. Um, I'm in my pajamas, but. So, after ending the vlog earlier today, I literally just kind of sat here and was working on like the shipping situation for the store. So I now do the worldwide shipping for Printify, because I don't ship anything out myself yet. I am going to make a list of things on Printify that I could potentially do in-house, so I could get rid of some of that stuff and probably make it a little bit better. Because I could have it on like one shipping profile, which would be nice, and then just be even versus like 50 of them. Um, so that's done, which I need to update the banner on the website too. And when I make another post about it, I'll kind of tell people like it is worldwide. I'm just thinking of like for holidays and whatnot, because I know lot's coming up. Speaking of holidays, I have been working on Christmas art. So here's the first one. So I just need to do her leg right here, which I'm going to film, not now, because it's raining and I honestly don't know if or when the lights will go out. So I'm like, I don't want to be in the process of like doing this, then my lights turn off. So, and I'm trying to use my phone battery as less, like I fully charged my phone up earlier, but I'm trying to use it as less as possible just in case power is out for 24 hours. I will hopefully survive on the phone battery because I don't have like a recharge, like a one of those like chargeable phone devices. I don't have one. I probably should get one, but it's just not something I'm like, I normally need. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to read some books though, because I kind of need to like badly. Uh, but I don't know. So far I'm pretty happy with it. Like, I don't know. I think it looks good. So I'm thinking actually back here, I might use both of these and possibly this and just kind of blend them because all three of these, it's a cloud blue, a cer yeah, light cerulean and then true blue. Um, so I'm thinking about using all these and kind of mixing together uh, for the background, just kind of as like an ombre effect. Just so it's not white, because right now it's white. Originally I was just going to leave it and like color this back here black, but I was like, I probably shouldn't do that as much as I would like to. I'm like, I'll put a little bit of blue out here, but it's just some snow with the tree. So with my Halloween and fall, I had more of like a um, scene going on. So I just did less. So I just did the main focal point of the tree, just because it's like the holidays and it's Christmas, which I am going to do. I also did like little like snowdrops and stuff too, because that's what Jolly likes to do. She likes to catch snowflakes. Um, so yeah, I kind of toned it down from the other two and I just did a little bit less just so it was like more on them, which honestly it still looks pretty good. At least I think so anyway, because I got some like Christmas Christmassy colors in there and like for the shading, I've actually just been using blues, which I thought would be kind of nice for the Christmas. Plus it's also winter. So I was like. I think that would make sense. So I'm using the cerulean just to kind of add, like, it doesn't show up too much, but I still think it kind of gives it like a little bit of a nice lighter color. I have peacock, we have violet blue, and I have my indigo. This is definitely my new favorite thing to add to all my colored pencil stuff because I think, to me, the indigo works really well with like any color because it just blends so nicely. Like, to, like it's also just good for shading color because it's, uh, I just, I like it. Oh my, I love it so much. So that's what I was doing with these guys. That's why they're also a little bit darker. Was because I was putting that um, indigo in there. Even though I'm using this violet blue. Which is a little bit dark on itself. But I just wanted to put that in there. So it's helping. So I'm also trying to do a little bit of a fur texture on everybody. Um, I feel like Jolly. It's definitely apparent. With her streaks and stuff. Lights doesn't have it that much. I'm wondering if I should call her Holly. No Holly Jolly Christmas. I don't know. Um, Jolly is not too bad. I did do a lot of fluff on Jolly's uh, chest, which I kind of like. But then um, Snow doesn't have a whole bunch of stuff going on. He's got he's got a little bit of fur, but not nearly as much. And then Lights doesn't really have a whole bunch at all because I know Deers are short haired, so she's got a little bit of streaks in her, but not too much. Um. But then I just, for like the design to make a wreath, I used holly and the little hollyberry things, whatever the hell those are called. I don't know. 
so I just did that but yeah so maybe tomorrow I might do the ombre background before finishing her off and then I will start working on the little drawings so which is good so that'll be the project tomorrow I'm hoping we keep power if we don't then I can't do that because I need it for the lighting especially because like in all honesty here it's already dark as it is because there's so many trees around that it could like be eight o'clock in the morning and it doesn't look like it's eight o'clock in the morning because sometimes I do sleep in I wake up and I'm like what time is it and I'm like it's eight o'clock I was like shit I'm like I have to get out of bed especially on my days off like the days I have to work oh my gosh it gets really bad because it's like I want to sleep in because like the past two days I was up early and I didn't go home till like after 10 my work days and I'm just like I'm done so that's where we're at but so that's my little update um but tomorrow will be a little bit more work stuff again assuming we have internet and power um because there's a couple things I want to do but they shouldn't take me that long I don't think um, and then I can work on some other stuff. So, in other words, this and probably try and work on Sonic some. I mean, like, if anything, I could probably get Sonic finished on Friday. Because I really don't have that much more of him I have to do. But we'll see. Because it's funny, because all his colors are actually right here. I'm actually using them right now. So, I'm like, I can just pull those out and just finish him up. But I'll have to see. Because if anything, he'll either be done tomorrow or Friday. And then I can have that video up Saturday. Because I already started to put it together. So that way that's done. So that's where we're at. But we'll see tomorrow. It all just depends on what happens. I'm hoping that we'll be fine on our end, but I don't know. I'm just assuming right now that everything's fine. Because so far we still have power. I did say, I mean, I guess I did say the hurricane would make landfall till like really early this morning. So I'm not sure when. But we'll have to wait and see. So, so far it's just been rain and some wind. Nothing out of the ordinary. But we'll see. <laughs> By the way, I'm ready. So, but when I make progress in some area, I'll let y'all know. Because I'm probably just going to read for a little bit. Because I need to catch up on that. Because one of the books I'm making notes in. Another one I'm literally just reading just to read. But another one I'm actually making notes in. So, you know, annotating the book. Thanks, high school and college. So, that is where we're at for right now. So I'm just going to leave it here, and then hopefully tomorrow we'll be back for some. All right, so it is Friday. And so yesterday, everything was fine, as expected. No, no power was out. It's just your normal, like, you know, leave and branch debris. At least over here, nothing nothing was wrong. I don't think I ever lost power. I went to bed at like 3. So as far as I know, I never lost power. So we were good, as expected. Um, But then yesterday, I was doing... I did do some drawing, which I'll show you in a second. I'm actually really happy because I got quite a bit done. Yay. Um, And then I just did like a lot of admin stuff. I still have some to do, so... We'll see if I actually end up doing that today. Because I was going to do some other stuff, but... Then this stuff popped up and I'm like, damn it. Because some of it was not like not working for some reason. So I was like, okay, I'll wait and I'll try again tomorrow. So I'm kind of hoping it works today so I can get it done. But I don't know. Because now I'm like, I also want to test some other stuff. I also intend on making another ad today so I can get that going. I already got the pictures picked out, so I just got to put it together. Which that won't take me long at all. Uh, maybe like 30 minutes or so, like not even. Um, and I'll get to get that going. Because my first one ends tomorrow. So then we will start the second one. Um, but as for drawing stuff, I got Sonic completely done and completely filmed. So he is done, ready to go for tomorrow. So when I'm at work, I'll finish putting the video together so I can do the voiceover when I come home and get it up and posted. So yay! Um, and then I actually have to start a comic page, which I know what I want to do, I just have to actually do it. So I also might at least try and get that sketched out today, and uh, maybe start working on it this weekend. So we'll see, that's my idea. 
um, because my Christmas stuff, I'm getting done today. So I got them completely done. So I just gotta take their picture. I left the white border because eventually when I go and post the actual video, I will um, color it black like I regular normally do. So they're all finished. And I got lights all done. So she's done ready for her picture and I got snow finished. So I'm happy with that and I started working on Jingle. So then all I have is Jolly left, which is my wolf. Um, so I'm going to get both of those done today. I'm probably going to work on these first. And then I have to do a post, which that'll be easy. I already have that video done. I'm just going to repost a video I already have showcasing like the design ideas. Um, and then we will also work on the ad. And then we'll go from there and see how I feel. Because I also have to do some stuff to get prepped for work for the weekend. So that's where we're at. But, so my idea now is I'm thinking that with my drawings, what I might do is I might make new ones and just erase the background and just have the character. I think I should be able to do that just so it's like just a plain, you know, sticker. I might just keep them as stickers at that point and not do anything super crazy with them unless I get asked. But so I can get rid of a whole bunch of stuff, but just keep it with stickers. I'm going to do the same thing with them, but I won't do it until after I take down like the regular design for like the Halloween version. So that's why I'm just kind of writing in the words here. And then I have my little border here. But when I go to um, just do regular old like sticker things, I'm going to erase all this and just have the character itself. So that way if somebody just wants to have, you know, the sticker or whatever they can. That's my idea. Because I was like, let me just try that. Just add a little more variety. I suppose, and since I'm already got these characters drawn, let's keep using them. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. And obviously eventually over time, I'm sure I'll add more. So we'll see, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just to kind of have them in there, just like cute little doodads, but not the bigger ones though. Like these will actually just get taken down. I'm not gonna um, worry about that. I didn't think about doing the word thing until after I had cut this out and I was like, mm, that would have been an idea. So I'll just have to do this via digitally again, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal, but I'm going to do that. So I'm also just going to try and do the words a little bit smaller, which I think will help. They'll probably end up being a tiny bit bigger than this, but I feel like this is just a good baseline to like start with. So that's where we're at with that, but not too bad. So, but yeah, so the intention... Yeah, it's to get Jolly and Jingle done. Um, I haven't decided yet on what I want Jolly's saying to be. I'm like, there's Holly Jolly Christmas. I guess. Which would actually work, though, because I do have Holly on the borders. They're not, like, huge, which is fine. Like, it's just a little bit of something. But I could do that. I might just do Holly Jolly Christmas because I don't, I don't know. These are Christmas designs, so. I am going to do New Year's, which will probably be in the next batch. So, but also because I am going to be cutting out their backgrounds too, I can also make sticker sheets. Because there is an option to make a sticker sheet with four stickers. And I have four characters. <laughs> it's kind of perfect. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, same thing with my fire dragons, but... I don't know. I'm wondering if like maybe the two heads I could make. Because I, I have six of those. Along with the Demetro. So I probably would need to like pick my probably my favorite four. Because I would probably do. I don't know. That's hard. I don't know. I'll have to see. Unless I do like three and three. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to work on these and I'll come back when there's some more type of progress. Because I also want to do some painting and sculpting. Because I remembered I had these. So they're little wooden cutouts of little brontosaurus. I've had these for a while. I've gotten them from Michaels. So I was like, oh, I could paint on these and just do different things. Like, you could do like the silhouettes where I know they have the silhouettes and they'll have like the... Um, the landscape and like a little cutout of the animal. Um, I could literally just paint 
you know, the eye and then the face and stuff. And I could do that. So I was like, I could try different things. I was wanting to do some more sculpting today, but I don't know if I'll get to that. I'll have to see how I feel. There is also this weekend. So I'm like, if I don't do admin stuff today, which I kind of don't want to, because I've technically I've done it for the past two days, but I also like, I also got to do like art stuff. That's also kind of important. I don't know. I'm like, I could save it for this weekend when I don't have that much energy for anything. Which actually probably would be the smarter thing to do. Because tomorrow will probably be like cleaning and then I gotta take a shower. And I wash my hair probably like Sunday or something. And then the food prep. The little bit that I would have to do. And then Monday we can go from there. Because Monday I'm probably gonna start looking at doing Patreon and commission stuff. Because I gotta figure out the logistics for that side. I'm still trying to figure out for this side too, but. I don't know what else, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I'm still trying to learn, like, there's new things popping up all the time, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, do I need to do that? Probably, so I am. But we'll see. But when I come back, I will hopefully have at least these two done, and then we'll see from there. <laughs> all right, so it's a little bit later now. So first thing first, I grabbed one too many is I got Jingle done. Wait, maybe that might help. So Jingle is finished and I got Jolly done. So these guys are now completely done. Mine is the black, but we'll deal with that later. Um, so I can kind of get them set off so that way I can start working on the digital portion tomorrow. And I've been working like maybe two hours-ish now on some sculpting. So I have this here, which I was going to try and make like a little baby like 3D stegosaurus. So I probably still will. Um, but my biggest project actually has been this. So I have this like little wood circle. And oh, this is kind of hefty. Um, so I have this stegosaurus here. As you can see, I probably need to build up his belly a little bit more and maybe the legs. But I'm going to have the head coming off. So I don't think I'm... I'm debating on how much I want to do back here. I'm so worried this is going to fall off. So I'm trying to figure out how much like cheek I want to do or if I just want to keep it flat. Because it's supposed to kind of like just sit like this. But I got his head coming off. Which right now it's actually not that bad. So we got his neck. So here's a leg. The belly which... And then the legs which again... Um, I mean they're still kind of puffed out but I might do it a little bit more. I don't know. At least definitely the legs need to get built up a little bit more. He's also not completely smooth because I'm like I have to add scales on him anyway. So I'm like it's not that big of a deal. But I think with this um, I'm going to like score certain um, scales on him. Like I have uh, the rectangle ones and then I just have like straight ones. So I'm probably going to do that. I do have circles that go up here, so I'm trying to figure out how I want to do that. I don't know if I want to make a bunch of little circles and put it on there and smooth them out. Or if I make, I might make little indents actually and just kind of blend that out. That's probably what I'll actually do. It might be a little bit less stressful. So obviously next I got to do is plates, which I'm probably going to have to get more clay. Because this is all I have really available at this at the moment. I mean this might be enough because I'm probably going to roll it out as soon as I can. Or something because this is still kind of like 3d through here so I might have to grab some wire which I have and stick it in the plates so that way I can make them stand up um, but I'll probably still have some sitting on top of this because they are offset so just sitting like flat on here like coming up and then have the wire for the ones that are coming off so we'll see I mean, so far though, I'm like, for an amateur, I'm like, he's not that bad. And again, eventually I'll, I'm probably, I might stop for now just so I can do some other things. Like I still need to make the ad, which I forgot I had to do and I haven't done that. Um, among some other things, like I gotta make my food and stuff, but I'm eventually gonna turn this into a little like 3D sculpture doodad. But here's the start of his tail. So this is actually what I've been kind of working on. Because I actually had it a little bit thinner than this. Because my intention was when I slide it into here. That's what these are for because it kept coming off. Was it's going to slide onto here. But I was kind of going to have it coming off and coming up. To give it like a really 3D effect. So it is kind of on the flatter side. So I'm like. 
I might need to buff it out a little bit more just to kind of give it some girth a little bit. But I've been trying to like work on it again. I don't need it completely smooth because I still have to do the scales. So I'm like, I probably just need to add a little bit extra under here just to kind of help um, make it rounder. And then that might be fine. So that way I can just put the scales on top because I can't do the scales until I connect it to here to see how the tail is actually going to sit. I did put some aluminum foil. I do have a thick wire and some aluminum foil in here just to kind of help um, give a little structure. This does not. This is literally just like clay, which is fine because again, it's just sitting on top. So I'm like, I'm not that worried about it. And I'm going to have to like fix some of it, like his head in particular. And I still got to add a little bit more on here, but there's that. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to roll out some more like really thin clay because I'm going to have to put it on the back of here and then here on the backdrop because when I put this in the toaster oven I don't want it like to catch fire so I'm like I'd rather actually oh I don't even know if I can do that I might have to look but I might have to pile this thing with clay I'm wondering I don't know unless I try and get like polymer clay I think this is like Sculpey or something I don't know um but I don't know if I should work on getting polymer clay then like just a thin layer just to put on here so that way I can bake this. I mean, I might have to watch it or something to make sure this doesn't catch fire. But um, I am going to also, again, the plates here are going to be different because, I mean, I think if I have the wire standing up, it might help them. And then I'll have to um, just like smooth it down enough. But that's the start of his tail. So I'm a fan right now. I'm like, honestly, this is not too bad. So I might have to try and work on it a little bit, like, as much as I can. But yeah, I think I'm going to stop and do some other stuff. Um, just so that way I can get ahead on some things. Like, yeah. So I think I might, after I finish up the ad situation, just start working on the next comic page to get that finished. Um... And then we will go from there. But so far, I'm pretty happy. It's not too bad. So I know the plates will probably be very interesting. I think the scales will actually be easy enough to deal with. I think next is just the plates and the tail spikes. It's probably what's going to be the problem. So I'll probably get those done first before I attach the tail. Because, um, yeah, it's really just kind of going to slide on. But I'm thinking I might need to try... Cause I can take this out. I just push that in there. I can take it out and just try to have it more coming up. So we'll see, but that's my Hey guys, so it's Monday. Um, and I do have some accomplishments done. So here's the first one. I don't remember if I actually showed this before. I probably could have, but this is the beginning of a new comic. So this is the first comic page. So it's called mutations so essentially they have these like little bracelets they wear and their little animal friends can go into the bracelets and they mutate because mutations and elements are a big thing of mine if you don't know like with my other comics i do have some more if you want to go look at those i have four others out right now um arlathia which is my main one has the most pages everybody else only has one at the moment it's a slow process but it is happening um, so I just got to finish this up pretty much, at least this down here, because this is going to get recorded. But it's looking pretty good. And this guy, fun fact, is actually this guy. So this is Kanan. He's one of my main characters in my story, Arlethea. This is her, actually, but there's an actual, like, comic I have of her. So this is his human version, because you actually have... Let me grab my little comic. So I also have like little comic minis is what I call them. Um, so that's what these three are actually from. So you actually have Kane in here, who's right there. You have Cain, which is the raptor, which is this one. And then... Yeah. I gotta find the pages, there we go. And then you have Cain here, which is my phoenix. So yeah, so you have Kanan, Cain, and Kana. Um... So they're all going to be in the story now because I have 12 different um, little animals. I got dinosaurs, mists, and my normals. So they're all of this together now. Well, this is how the first page is coming out. And like, honestly, um, I'm like, it's actually not too bad. 
I'm not too much of a people drawer, but I'm just like, you know what, for what I did, I'm not going to complain. I'm sure as over time I will get better because all of my stories, but two of them have people in it. So I'm like, I'll get plenty of people practice, but yeah, I know. Oh, I just now noticed that is um, a hell no, but we'll fix that later. So here's the beginning of this. So another fun thing is these guys are actually ready to go. Like, I got them all done and completed. I just need to upload them on my website. Um, but that won't happen for a couple more days while Halloween's still going on. But, I mean, Halloween's going to be leaving here, like, really, really soon. So, because, you know, pretty soon it'll be kind of pointless at buying anything Halloween. So then we'll go add this on here. But along with those, I actually want to do some more, like, Christmas stuff. So I want to do, like, regular Christmas slash, slash Halloween things. So I almost want to make like little um, inanimate object type of things, like things that represent the holidays and Christmas, on top of also making a print. So my idea was to have like a gingerbread house, maybe the Aurora Borealis, <clears throat> Santa, you know, going across with Rudolph leading the way, ice, snowmen, poinsettias, candy canes, all that good stuff is what my intention was and have it like a print and just something a little extra. Which I have never done before, like I don't do ho um, holiday or seasonal art, but I figured with the store it's probably a good idea to start just having that available if nobody wants like my character stuff. So this is where I'm going to get make little circles, which it'll be this one right here. I'm really hoping you can see all this because honestly I can't tell. Um, so I'm going to do this circle. And I'm going to make a bunch of little objects in here that kind of represent Christmas and the holidays. So I can make a pattern because um, Printify actually offers an option to make a pattern. Like if you post a picture, you can push a pattern button and it makes the pattern for you. So I was like, once I make these and get them arranged how I want to, I can make a continuous pattern. I don't have to do anything else. So I've, And they also offer wrapping paper. So I thought that would be a good idea to have the wrapping paper available. It's not very much, but it's something if you want to like decorate a little box or whatever. So, what represents the holiday of Christmas? So for me, it'd be like a tree, there's presents, gingerbread, uh, there's stockings, it's going to be a lot of stuff, uh, deer, because they're reindeer, you have snowmen, fine cities, I don't know if I'm spelling that right, I also don't know how much you can actually see, but it's fine. I'm just making a list. Uh, I would say a bell. Probably bows. What's oh candy canes? Snowflakes. Hmm. I feel like that's pretty good because it's a nice combination of um, both Christmas and holiday theme. I feel like I might leave it at that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Um, oh, that's right. We also have lights too. You can't forget lights. What what's Christmas without Christmas lights? You know, come on. Okay. Um, I guess I would say snow, but we got the snowflake in there, so I'll leave it. Um I feel like that's pretty much it for me. Of like things that like really stand out for holidays and Christmas. So I feel. So if I got 12. So maybe I can make them a little bit bigger. And use this one. I think. This one. Two. I need to scoot that one over more. I just want to make sure I have enough room on here. Because if I do, then maybe I could sketch out my little... Well, I guess not. I'll just use an actual sketchbook for the... Which we can work on next. Here, I don't care. I'm just going to take a picture of these anyway, so it's fine. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, I need one more. Okay. So there's those. So let's see. So for a tree, I'm just going to do a basic triangle for the time being until I can actually like draw these out. So then you got presents. So I feel like three of them would be good. Gingerbread. Obviously, you got to make a little gingerbread man. Stockings. So probably something like that. You got a deer. Oh, I was like, I hear dogs, and I guess there's two of them outside, and the owners are just like, no. Because so I think they're wanting to play. Yeah, they are. Oh, babies. So you got a snowman. A little top hat and a scarf. Um, I don't know exactly off the top of my head what poinsettias look like, but I think it's something like that. Again, I don't know how much you can see at the moment, but it's fine. I'll do a close-up here in a second. So then we have a bell. I might do a little bow on that one. Candy cane. I know what that looks like. A snowflake. Wait, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I? Four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I didn't do a bow. I was like, I, I know I can count. Couldn't pass school otherwise. Okay. So now we can do a snowflake. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect, but that's all right. Okay. Have a nice string of lights. Okay. Let me make sure. Oh, I guess you can kind of see. Okay, so we're not bad. So there's my basic sketch. And yes, this is generally what it looks like when I very sketch. So now let's plan this out really quick. So let me grab a pen. And my sketch. Okay. Um, oh, that's New Year's. That will be probably next. So I think after this Christmas, I'm going to work on New Year's, Valentine, and February. I think is what I'm going to do next because of those monthly challenges. But the February thing, I'm only doing do like mushrooms, toastals, maybe in print of a fairy house is what I actually was thinking. I could do flowers, like maybe a few pair of fairy wings. I thought that would be kind of fun. Plus, that's something I can keep on, like, year-round, too. I don't have to, like, take it off, so we'll see. Okay, but for my little gingerbread house. So, we want gingerbread house. I'll just put northern lights. Because I actually have an idea of what I could do. Snow, obviously. Um, snowmen. Candy canes. Um, oh, we could do presents, I suppose, for like decorations outside. We could use Santa, reindeer. Because they would be more in like the background, I think. They'd be like dark. Maybe I could have like Rudolph with his nose on. Like that's like a red point. But the sleigh and the reindeer itself are dark. Um... Oh, maybe mountains in the back, I suppose, if we're in the North Pole. Mailbox. I could call it Candy Cane Lane. Okay. So there's that. So I would want to stick with, like, a Christmas Christmassy palette, which honestly would probably be this. Um, I think would make the most sense. Like, even the dark brown. I do have tan on here just because... If you think about like reindeer, like on the tanner side, you got the Christmas trunks, which are dark brown. So that's what I was trying to do because there's also holly and whatnot. So that's what my thought is, is to keep it like this. Because obviously red and green are like your two big Christmas colors. 
But then for me, because sometimes my mom would actually do like a blue and white Christmas color scheme on her tree. So that's why I put the blue and white in here and again with the browns. You also have the gold, which I was like, well, the star for the tree. So, and then I also put gray on here too, which kind of adds with like the blue and the white, if you will. Also just because of the shading. So I think that will be my color scheme and it'll be make it easier for me. Um, so, but the thought is, so you got, obviously this will need to, I'll, I actually might look up, um, I don't know why I'm putting those up there. Those are not shingles, but obviously we have this. So then we got our nice little path. I feel like maybe the mailbox could be slanted with the name. So then there's candy canes going down it for candy cane lane. Then there's this, so maybe a lake or something. I don't know how much is actually going to fit on this paper. Because if anything, the mailbox would be here. But you probably don't, I don't know if you can see anything. So because the mailbox might be like here and then the house is what I had in mind. And then I could decorate a little bit because there would be lights too. Because then this would be here, and then maybe the main focus I could have is like the Northern Lights maybe, and then Santa would be up here on the left. It's kind of what I had in mind. I mean, I will probably look up pictures, but I know they kind of are a little bit stringy. So then we have this. So maybe, obviously, I would need to have trees in here with lights. So then we got... I only might do like the two deer or whatever and then you know Rudolph with Santa because he's not like a huge um and yes I will probably look up a sleigh but we'll see how much um only because he is in the background so I'm like I don't know we'll see but maybe you could have presents in the yard a couple snowmen Right, so that would be kind of the intention because I don't, because like my stuff is not good, like the way I draw. For me, it's not good to have horizontally, but maybe, yeah, because the candy, yeah, no, I would have to do it this way, which is fine because I would still probably keep with my border I like to do because that is my thing. So I would still have the border. I would need to figure out how to put the border on here just so it kind of cuts off naturally. So whether I have a tree here or something to kind of cut it off. Um, but I'll have to see because I also got the northern lights I got to do. So not unless I bring it up here and then have clouds. Or I could do icicles. Ooh, you know what? I could. Because if I bring it up here and I put icicles here, it'll look like there's something looking out. Okay. So we want icicles um, at the top, Santa and deer in the sky, so decorations in the yard. Um, that's yard, that's not yard. So northern will be on the right. And then put him on the left. So house is on left, mailbox left and front. Candy cane path. Maybe I could also do it where it actually is a candy cane path. Oh, that'd be cool. I don't know. I'm just trying to have fun with it. Because again, I don't do this. Plus there's not really like an actual character in here. I'm literally just doing like a landscape. Santa and them are probably the closest thing to having a character in here, which is not something I do. But I'm just trying to make it like a something for everybody. You know, where it's not like super specific. Um, so I'll do colors with my Christmas characters. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So... And yes, this is what I would normally do because, again, I already had this in my head because sometimes, like here, for example, I will do several poses and I'll write down notes. 
I just started doing that recently because I have a problem with not writing down things enough and I kind of keep it in my head. So I started doing this and just to kind of go back and reference. So that's why this only has the one sketch because I actually, when I thought of this, I was like, oh, I could do this. So this is me just kind of like putting it down on paper with some notes and such. But yeah, so it varies between of what I'm doing. What the hell is this for? Oh, what? I don't know what the hell happened there. I know what this was. So this was me actually mixing together things. So a butterfly and a flower. So that's right. Because you know how some of those like drawings you see where it's like you've got the animal and then like it fades off into like something else. That's what I was trying to do here. But I was just, again, I'm just trying to think about how to incorporate more people. But it's like the art I do is just not what people want. So I'm trying to like figure out how to like incorporate more. This was actually my little fire dragons um, sketches. This was actually going to be a bookmark. But because how skinny a bookmark is, it was hard. But I'm also like... Because this would be like the regular dragon drawing, and this would be like my little cutesy dragon. It'll be like him doing that. So that's what that was. This again was also me trying to figure out how to do her Lathia earlier. I actually drew her herself. But I'm telling you, I know, it looks like a jumbled up mess, I know. But I know what it all means, and that's what matters. Alright, but I'm going to work on these, at least these guys, for right now. I'm hoping I can actually get these done fairly quickly, so we'll see. Depends on how, you know, perfect I want to make them. Um, and then I'm going to start on this. I'm hoping this won't take me forever, but we'll have to see. Because this will probably be a little bit on the darker side. I'm going to have lights and, like, the northern lights, like, shining. But mostly it's going to be kind of dark. So I almost want to make it like it's nighttime. So we'll see. I don't know. I'll have to... We'll see what happens, but I'm just going to get started so I can hopefully get these done as quickly as possible. Oh. Alright, so it's a little bit later and I've made some progress. So, here's our sketches. Um, I also went ahead and kind of color-coded them, if you will. So this is what it's at my little tally down here. So I know that I have about even number of like my color variations. So, I only have five, which I... Don't really care um it works for what i need because each of them have two different variations so you have green and white white red red green blue white and red blue so now we're gonna actually pick out the colors so i can continue but first oh this is terrible so here's the starting sketch for the house so i did put the icicles up here I have my house, I got the lane right here, I have snowmen and um, trees down here on the side. Um, I got the Aurora Borealis sketched and then I also started putting Santa and the reindeer up here. So they're actually going up this way and I do have Rudolph up here. So that's where those are starting. But that's kind of what it looks like because I'm actually going to record this. I just figured I should just have something for Christmas which I think is fine. Um, but I'm going to do it now because if I want it to go up with the designs for like a general, you know, selection, I got to do it now. Um, but I'll just still have a video ready to go up for Christmas time just to have it because I figured it's kind of probably a good idea. Um, and then I also forgot that I actually want to um, do my Arlathea characters in a Halloween drawing which I have an idea for that so I was like I want to sketch this out but I was like I'll wait till I show y'all so it would be probably the happy Halloween right here in the middle right um so then I was actually gonna have Jojo up here with a little wand. I was going to make him kind of like a wizard. I thought that would be kind of funny. Um, and then Myra. I was actually going to have as a vampire. Because <laughs> she can fly. Um, so I'll have to see how I actually want to do that. So I thought that would be fun. Now. What was I doing? I think. Kanan I was going to have as, like, a werewolf. Um, 
I thought that would kind of work, so he'd be down there. Um, Celestin. Was I going to make him the abominable? I think I was going to make him a Yeti. We can make, yeah, Celestin will be a Yeti. I think that would be funny to have him as a Yeti. Honestly, because he's, Celestin's kind of like a quiet character. But we can make him a Yeti. And Arlathea, I was going to give like Jack Skellington kind of situation. So it'd be fun to have her kind of hanging off the thing. I don't know, I thought that would work for her was to make her Jack Skellington. Um, and then obviously there'd be like, you know, pumpkins and leaves kind of hanging out. So I thought that would be fun. But let's go, Myra is a vampire. I think that just works for her because she does fly and she's a bat. So I was like, it makes perfect sense. Um, I know normally a witch is kind of like a normal like costume play, but I'm like, I think these so work so much better. So Jojo, aka the Elements, is gonna be a wizard with his little staff, which actually kind of works because he does have the elements. The um, he's an elemental too, because he has the elements. So I'm like, it would actually kind of work to have him kind of blasting the elements off. Um, or Lathia. Honestly, I don't know if I'm spelling his name right, but close enough. Kanan is a werewolf. And Sliston is a yeti. So then we'll have pumpkins, leaves, and I think I do actually want to have like little bats flying around, you know, just kind of doing this little number. I think would be kind of fun. Um, we'll have webs, not necessarily like spiders, but just some webs. Um, I think for the background, like the sky wise, I want to have it like purple where it's going, um, it's almost like sundown. So we'll have dark to light. Um, gravestones I think makes sense. So I almost want to say to have the background kind of choppy, I think. So we'll have um, leveled back, not level, level is not the right word, level is straight. We'll go with rocky and bumpy. <laughs> Using big words, but in the wrong way. So there's that. Um, I think that's fine. Um, oh, but I guess... I mean, their colors are going to be their colors, but I can ask, guess I'll just add, like, more orange and purple. We can go background, objects, and shading. However, I think that would be more, like, brown tones. And the purple would just be, like, dark purples. I think would work because I have orange colors but they're very bright like they're not dark so I would need to stick with more like brown tones but I think it would still work just for like orange so I think that would be it sketched so I'm gonna have to work on that at some point um I mean if anything I could wait and do it like next week or something it's not like it's super big rush but it will need to get done at some point it's not as a bigger rush as this stuff is um but there's that so now Let's pick out these colors so I can start. So I got my little bin. So I got my red. Let's see, I need this. Oh, okay. My blue is buried. Okay. There. Oh, I just messed that up. That's okay. All right, so for the blue, I think I still want to do, like, three colors. I'm thinking I should probably go maybe lighter. So there's a periwinkle. The peacock's not too bad. And I still want a semi-dark one. Um, I might just use this. This is dark, but it's fine. 
So now red is going to be the same thing. I have way less red colors, but in all honesty, they don't really make a lot of like different variations of red. I feel like red, orange, and yellow, they don't make enough variations. Like It's literally like the same ones. So now for the green, I kind of want darker green. Um, I feel like that one would be fine. And maybe this one. Yeah. Okay. And then we got this. So white, I'm only going to do two. These are almost dying. I mean, I have a whole bunch more. But these are like literally like almost dead. Um, okay, so there's that. So now let's actually kind of color these in really quick. I'm just going to do base colors and then I'll finish up the rest on my own just because this will take me a while. Um, okay, well let's start with this. So this is just going to be the easiest one to deal with. Because I do this every time where I will just start out with like base colors and then we'll do actual colors. Maybe I should just do all the reds first, I suppose. Um, for this, I actually kind of do want... Okay. I was like, wait, what am I doing? I'm like, because I'm not doing something right. Um... But I always do this first because it just kind of helps me know where the colors are going. And that way it's just easier to kind of deal with it later. Okay, so there's this. So now the red green, how do I want to do this? I don't know. Actually, fuck. Maybe I do want that to be green right there. Um, we'll color in the fluff. So then I have these. And this. This is not going to be very fun. Hmm. I think I'm kind of getting them right. If not close enough. It's not going to be very big anyway. Okay. So now this is actually super easy. So actually when I sketched this out the first time, because I went to go look at an actual like poinsettia picture, um, I was really close. So I was like, I was pretty happy because I'm not like a plant person. Like I have three different plants, but they're super easy to take care of. They just sit outside and just need water every now and then. So, I mean, one of them actually kind of like blew up to like a really big size, but I think it's because it's out on the porch. So it's getting like a lot more water than normal. All right, so I think I'm just going to make the bow red, and then we'll do the bell blue. Yeah, I just went with these colors because I figured they were just more holiday slash Christmassy colors. So I thought it just kind of made a little more sense to do it this way. Because then the actual, like, little gingerbread house thing will be more... Um, yeah, we'll just be that wider range of colors I chose. Which I think probably will help it to kind of match. But I just feel like these are probably just better just to kind of show. Alright, so there's those. So white I can't touch. So let's go green. Oh, wait, actually. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. I think I am, but yeah, I'm okay. Um, Alright, so... So obviously, oh, I just messed that up, damn it, oh well, I'll just have to remember and try and fix it. Luckily, I should get done with at least these guys today, I'm pretty sure, because I don't think they'll take me like that long to do, which is nice, and that way tomorrow, um, when I'm at work, because that was when I was planning on like actually dealing with them, I can hopefully get them all done at work tomorrow. Which would be super wonderful and nice. So, I almost want to try and keep 
I don't know. I might make a few of them green. Because I would like to get these like completely done. So that way I don't have to deal with them anymore. And then I can focus on the rest of the, the other little Christmas. And then I can start working on the Halloween stuff to make sure that's actually ready for Halloween. So I can start making that video. Okay, well this should be easy because he is white and green. So I had to include Frosty, guys. You can't have Christmas without little Frosty in here. Like he's a snowman. You gotta have snowmen. Okay. I know those are yellow, but because I'm only doing two colors per drawing, I'm just going to make it green. Okay. White, red. Alright. And then I already had the idea just to make this part green, and then the actual lights will just be blue. All right, so that's done. And let me look at these two really quick. Oh, I want to say that I want to say this is the lighter one because this is almost a little more potent than this one. So if not, it will get fixed when I do pencils. So it does not really matter that much. Because I think I'm just going to stick with doing blue for the shading again because it kind of worked. And it kind of just gives it that like nice Christmas -y feel. I don't know what I'm going to do for that one yet. So let me come back to him. But it's like overall the colors actually kind of work really nicely together. Okay, so now here's this. So I think I'm just going to make the little prongs blue. Just so it's kind of subtle. Alright, so for this, I'm wondering if I should make him mostly white. Is probably what I should do. And then um, we'll do certain elements blue, I think would be nice. I'm going to color this part, I'm going to color a little this, a few more, alright, and there is the start of that. So now, I'm going to continue on with these so I can get them done, and then when I also make some more progress on this, I'll show you guys, but I'm just going to work on getting all them done so I can move along. Okay, so it is now Wednesday. So as you can see, I finished them. So I'm actually pretty happy with them. I don't think they look too bad. I think for just trying something out that's a little different, they're actually pretty okay. Um, as for the Christmas drawing itself, I didn't start it because I was like, you know what, if this is coming out on Christmas and it's seasonal, I need to actually have stuff probably like in the vicinity of my desk that's like Christmas related. Because I already have like some Halloween stuff whenever I do my Halloween drawing, which I probably will start this week, I think, just to make sure I can get it done on time. But I'm like, well, I could go to the Dollar Tree tomorrow because I'm off and I could pick up my little bit of Christmas stuff that I need. Um, so I can start filming that video and it's not coming out until Christmas, but like I kind of need that print now. So that way I can upload it to my site. So that's what my intention is, but I'm just glad that these guys are at least done. So we can work on them at some point with creating my design. But with the design, I actually kind of came up with something different. I know this looks funny. So my idea was, I was thinking about like shirts and whatnot, like my, um, the apparel I have available was if I did the words in the middle and then I took some of these drawings, like two of them, put them on the outside and then I take one of the character drawings and I put it like down here so it like forms a triangle. So then like we'll say lights for example, like I would stick with this wording I have so it would be light shining bright pretty much. So I would do a string of lights. I wouldn't use this lights, like I would create like a string of lights around the saying. 
So then she would be down here. And then maybe I could... I don't even know what I would pick. I'd probably... Maybe like the gifts in the snowman or something. Just something random. Um, or a bell or whatever. And I would put them on the outside. So I'm wondering if that might help with like the design factor. Just because it's a little bit different. It's, you know, really holiday related. So I'm like, I could do that. And just to test it out and see what would happen. I don't think it would take me that long to do. Like, I still need to do them, but I don't think it would be an overly long, overly long process. So I'm like, if I focus, I could probably get it done in a relatively quick pace. So I'm like, so I actually might do that instead. Because this is what takes me the longest, is just drawing them. But actually, just to sit here and write out those words wouldn't be that long. And just to put designs, but I would still use this to make like a pattern though. So that was my thought process. I kind of came up with this last night. So like, let me write that down because I do want to do that. So I just wanted to try something different because I was like, here, maybe it actually might help and it might look a little bit better because I'm like, that might be part of my problem just to start somewhere. Um, for them, I might, you know, I'd make stickers too. I'd probably go ahead and make stickers of what I have available now. But then at least with some of the other things I've already created, I would just use those with the t-shirt designs. That's what I had in mind was just because I have t-shirts and I have sweatshirts. I'm debating on if I should do crew necks. I don't know. Maybe if that was a request I could. But I might just stick with the sweatshirts and the um, t-shirts for now. Because for me, I feel like I see sweatshirts more than I do crew necks. That's just me though. Um, but I also live in Florida, so we don't really see much of... Um, that anyway until it gets you know really cold which for us is like 60 and below and then we're like hell no because it's actually like 60 here now it actually feels kind of nice like I have a long sleeve on and like shorts and I'm just like it actually feels really good somebody walked out with like a hat on like one of those like beanies and I was like bro I didn't do that cold anyway so that's what I had in mind because I thought just to try it do something different so that's something I would need to work on so it would probably be a weekend situation is probably what I would do. Um, just so I can kind of spend there, I think is what it will happen. Just so I can literally just sit there all day because I have to be at work anyway. And I can work on that stuff. Which I might even be able to get it done in a day because I know what I want to do. Now creating the design pattern with this might take me a little longer because of how I'm going to try and do it. I don't know if it's the best way, but for the moment, because I'm not a digital person... It's kind of makes sense for me to do it that way. So we'll see. Because I do want to make a pattern with like the wrappy paper and maybe some other stuff. Maybe I could do an ugly sweater with this patterning. So I could put it all across the shirt. Because some of it is... Hmm. Actually, I would need to see... Actually, I might not be able to. I don't think... No. The shirts aren't all patterned over. It's just like a square part on the chest. Um, but at least do the wrapping paper. Maybe I could do a book or just like a journal or something and just kind of have that pattern everywhere. That was just my idea. Um, I don't know if I would do them as individual stickers because it's a lot. Maybe. There is a sticker sheet, so. But it's only four quadrants, so I don't know if I would only get four stickers or if it didn't matter if you fill in those four quadrants, if that would work. Because I could do three on each quadrant. So that would have to be a test, so I don't know. That's my only concern, but I'm like, I could do it that way, just so they're all together. So I still might be able to, because I can do three in each quadrant, and it should be fine. But we'll have to see. So I could test it out and see what happens, but I don't know. I'm just trying to think of things that might help, especially because it is about to be holiday time. You know, once October 31st is over, it's, you know, Christmas time. Thanksgiving does not exist. It is straight up Christmas. So everybody knows that. Let's be honest. Um, so, because I want to get all these done and out by November 1st. I'm wondering if I should just do it sooner. And maybe just do it next week. Because by then, like, anything for Halloween is kind of a waste. Because I'm like, you probably won't get it in time. So that's probably what would happen. So I would need to get this. If I can get this all done probably this weekend... Then maybe I could work on, um, they maybe just send out a video saying like, hey, this Halloween stuff's about to go. If you want it, grab it now. If not, it's gone. It'll be gone, you know, on this day or something. That's probably what I should do. So we'll see. 
but that's where we're at. But um, yeah, so far still no sales. It's whatever. That's why I just want to change it up a little bit with how I've done it. Um, just to see if maybe it would help. But I also did add a feature and I figured out on the discounts part, I can actually do free shipping. So I just, so I know some other people do this, is that if you hit X amount, you can get free shipping. Um, I went ahead and just did it because I thought, why not? And just to test it out and see. So I just did $100 plus you get free shipping on. So I just put that like as an automatic rule. Because there's some items in there that you could hit $100 quite easily. Um, so that's just me. So that's why I'm like, especially with Christmas coming, if you know, you want some stationery like gift like friends. Because I know some people like, you know, stocking stuffers and whatnot. So I was like, here, let me just try it and see. But this is where this is at. So I'm going to get off of this because I'm currently trying to work on like some email planning. Not, I don't have any of my email list right now. But I'm like, in the future when I do, I want to have them kind of ready to go. So I'm going to start planning them out so that way I can actually create them. And make them look better, if you will. With my own stuff on there. Just kind of use like the base templates that Omnisen has and just kind of mess with it a little bit is what I want to do. So I'm going to sit here and do that. We'll probably finish it tomorrow and then I need to start looking at Patreon and my commission so I can get all that up and available. That's a whole nother process. So that's where we're at. <laughs> but I'm probably going to leave it for there so I can get this up because I do have work later so I need to get this up and loaded so I can make sure it's available. But but as a last little bit, if you guys are interested, I do do like drawings, dragons, fantasy stuff. I love dinosaurs. I have my own comics and OCs. Um, so if you're interested in any of that, and by art, I mean I do like painting too. And I'm starting to get into some sculpting, which I did show earlier in this vlog. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you know, please follow along on this journey as I try to hit the goals I want to reach. You know, like, sub like, subscribe, and comment, all that good stuff if you want. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!